Okay. So I've got kind of an odd video. I don't know if it's odd. I feel like it's weird because obviously I don't do things like this that often, but I want to talk with you guys about some things or rather just one thing, uh, but it concerns a couple new pins I have. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. What I have in mind seems a little clickbaity, so I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, uh, I have two new pins. You've seen one of them. If you watch to the end of my most recent swatch video, I did a swatch with uh, Jacques Arbonne Violet Boreal uh, with my Twisby Lilac. It's the second to late latest pen now that I've bought. Um, I I bought the Twisby Eco Cement Gray, like, I don't know, a week after owning the Lilac, which seems really excessive to me because I try to think really carefully about purchases before I make them uh, concerning pens because I don't want my collection to get out of control like it has in the past. I've been there, done that, don't want to go back to it. So I'm very thoughtful with pen purchases now. Like I consider weight and grip diameter, uh, whether it's back weighted or not, like the material it's made of to see whether it scratches super easily or if it can break easily. Uh, I just do a lot of research and I didn't this time. I kind of just impulsively bought the Twisby Eco Lilac uh, about two weeks ago now. I had seen the color advertised when it you know was first announced and I didn't really like the color but then they did a color correction and I'm sorry I keep hitting my desk <laughs> so the camera's shaking but they did the color correction and I really liked the color the new one the accurate one so I got it because I hadn't tried this before and I don't know if I've mentioned on this channel but I don't like Twisby uh I've never even owned one and I don't like them Partially, it's the looks. Uh, I'm not a fan of the red finial. As you will see, I, I modified my pens. Don't like the red finial. I'm not a fan of red. Um, I don't like the clip. The clip is really ugly, in my opinion. I still think the clip is ugly. Uh, I do like the industrial look of the, like the demonstrator and the piston knob and all that stuff. I like that the cap and the piston knob match. Uh, but, I mean, I just and all the cracking issues. And I just, I didn't want to get into Twisby. And I had lots of pens that I loved, so I never really seriously considered getting into Twisby. So this particular color was announced and I guess I was just restless with my fountain pens and I wanted to try something new. So I bought it impulsively and I kind of like it, <laughs> which is, I feel weird saying that because for years I have been just vehemently against Twisby, mostly due to the cracking issues. I I don't think it should be expected that your pen should break. Um, I know a lot of people, I'd seen discussions on forums and Facebook and places like that where people were like, oh yeah, they break, but you know, they'll ship you parts for super cheap. So it's no big deal. And people were like, oh, that's great. And I'm just like, <laughs> that's messed up. <laughs> that's, that's just really messed up that, you know, it's almost expected that this pen is going to break, but it's okay because you can get the parts for super cheap. You know, you just have to pay for shipping from wherever, Taiwan, I think. I think if that, if that's wrong, correct me. I don't, I think it's Taiwan, but anyway, and I just thought that was really messed up. And that was, and that was years ago. I will say I haven't heard as much about the cracking issues lately as I used to. So that's part of the reason why I felt okay buying it. Uh, but it was like $33 pen. I said, you know, screw it. I'll try it. I got it. So this is it. This is my lilac. And I will say the color is fairly accurate uh, to, you know, what you're seeing and what I'm seeing. And I did, I painted the finial black. I got some black acrylic paint and painted it. And I really, really like it compared to the red. Uh, it's definitely not the neatest paint job, but it'll do. I'm, I'm okay with it. So yeah, I got the lilac. I got it from Drawn Ghouls, which they shipped very quickly. And I got the medium nib and I filled it up with Jacques Arbonne Violet Boreal. 
you saw me riding with this if you watched my swatch video and I like it <laughs> I like it a lot actually and like I said I feel weird saying that because I just I don't like Twisby but I like this one <laughs> so I guess that means I like Twisby uh it is really really smooth it is so smooth and it is so wet oh my god this pen is so wet it wrote perfectly out of the box I didn't have to do anything to it um the ink helped I really like this ink and it's a perfect match but I just really I love this pen I'll just go ahead and say it I love this pen <laughs> I I love it it's I, I do like the purple color. It's not like my favorite shade of purple, but I, I it's kind of mauve -y, maybe. I don't know. But I do like the demonstrator look. Um, I like that the piston knob is also colored. It's it's a it's a good looking pen, I think. M most of my hesitation with Twisby just came from cracking issues in the past, which like I said, I haven't really heard as much about that, so I felt comfortable ordering it. And I have actually been writing with this pen and only this pen for the past two weeks. Um, except I, I wrote like one journal entry with my Parker 51 and then I went back to the Twisby. And you should know about me, and I feel like I've said it before, I, I get restless with my pens and my inks. I will change pens very frequently and I will change inks in those pens very frequently. And like I will I will use three separate pens in one journal entry. That's how I just I just jump from pen to pen, from ink to ink. I don't use one pen for two weeks straight, but I've used this pen for two weeks straight. And I'm not tired of it. I keep thinking to myself when I take my journal with me in the morning and a pen, when I'm choosing what I want to take, I without hesitation grab this Twisby because it writes so well and it's so comfortable to hold. It's really lightweight um, without the cap on. I don't usually write with it posted because it gets a little back weighted. Uh, but other than that, it's like, it's really nice. I'm really, I'm so shocked at how much I like this pen um, that I bought a second one. <laughs> so this is the Cement Gray. I had to order it direct from Twisby because I could not find this in stock anywhere like in America with a medium nib um, and it came in like a week uh, and I really like it. I remember looking at this one when it came out and I was like I really like that gray color but no to Twisby so I, I never got it but since I love this one so much I was like why not? <laughs> so I bought the cement gray. Uh, this is inked up with uh, Diatramentous Tungsten Purple I did have to tune the nib a little bit. It was kind of scratchy on the like left downstroke, but I just smoothed it out with some Mylar or uh, Micro Mesh and it's writing fantastically now. Again, super wet, just like this one. So they're really great little writers. They're cheap. I just, so anyway, this is, that's not what the video is about. It's not about me getting new pens. Uh, it's about these pens causing me to <laughs> reevaluate my current fountain pen collection which I, I think that's what I want to call the video but again that sounds clickbaity like Twisby Eco making me rethink my fountain pen collection because I I feel like I'm betraying my other pens by using these because they're just they're so cheap and there's nothing wrong with cheap I'm not saying that at all uh but they're just they're like I don't know I, they're kind of like Lamy Safaris and I love Lamy Safaris. I had a million of them. If you've watched any of my other videos, I have a million Lamy Safaris. Currently, they're all in a box. I'm going to try to sell them. I wanted to curate my collection um, and most of my collection, well, all of my collection as of now, other than the Twisbees, are fairly expensive pens. And I wanted my pens to be, I don't want to say expensive, but I felt if they were more expensive, I would take better care of them. I would appreciate them more uh, because they are fine writing instruments. And I really enjoy the act of writing. I enjoy writing with high quality 
instruments. Uh, and I wanted my collection to reflect my want of that. So I, you know, decided to get rid of my safaris because I, I wasn't reaching for them anyway. And then, I mean, this has me rethinking all that because it's crazy to me that I would rather write with this Twisby over my vintage Schaefer or my Sailor Pro Gear or my Pelicans uh, that, you know, were hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And this is like 30 bucks, but the riding experience is fantastic. It's comfortable to hold. Um, I just, I don't know. There's something about it that I just really like. And I would just rather grab this than, I'm looking at my, my pen roll right now. My pens are sitting there judging me. <laughs> I just, I don't know. And I feel weird about it because I spent so long so long making lists, pros and cons, when I was considering buying a pen, trying to decide what pens I would, were, were, were worthy enough for me to put into my collection. And now it doesn't, I don't know, it's, the Twisby has me rethinking that because, I mean, it, I would rather use this pen over my other ones right now, and I have for the past two weeks, and you know, clearly, I, you know, you know, actually, you don't know. I keep saying, you know, I don't even know. I don't know what to think. It's, this hasn't happened to me. <laughs> Where I'm, like, I would rather use my Twisby over my Pelican. Or, as of now, over my Sailor. I don't think I'll ever get rid of my Sailor Pro Gear. I really love that pen. And I eventually I will go back to some of my other pens, but this does have me thinking, you know, do I need even seven or eight or nine pens? Cause I put my limit at 10. I haven't quite reached that. Well, maybe with the Twisbees I have now, but I mean, you can be happy with just a couple of pens. Who really needs a dozen fountain pens? I don't. Some people might. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I certainly don't. You can only use one at a time. And for the past two weeks, this Twisby has been enough for me. And now I have the gray, which I love. I really do love both of them. And it just has me rethinking my fountain pen collection and what I thought about it and how I built it. And maybe I'm looking at the wrong things when I choose fountain pens. You shouldn't look at price. Price is not always indicative of a good writing experience. Maybe with quality, you know, the materials that are used and everything. But, you know, I used to have all cheap pens starting out, as most of us do when we start out in this hobby. And there are some really fantastic cheaper pens out there. Pilot makes some really good cheap pens. Uh, Lamy, Twisby. I've never tried Pelican's cheaper pens, so I don't know. But, and then I started, you know, I felt like I was maturing in this hobby, so I wanted to get more expensive pens. Um, and so I just started accumulating more, getting more expensive. And, you know, I accumulated a lot, and then I purged, and then I was like, I want to curate a collection of more expensive pens that, you know, I actually enjoy using. So I spent a long time doing that, and now with these Twisbees, I realize that it doesn't matter. <laughs> it it was all for naught because I just I I feel like I don't I don't know have an interest in only looking at more expensive fountain pens, I guess. Uh, I felt like I had moved on from cheaper fountain pens, but the Twisby is, uh, teaching me, I guess, that that's not the way to look at things. I don't know. I, that doesn't even make sense. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, I just wanted to talk about my Twisbees. And, uh, I keep looking at my fountain pens. This is this is what I'm looking at. All my my uh, fountain pens are in this workshop bag works roll sitting on my desk, and I'm, I keep looking at them like they're like living. 
and they they have thoughts and feelings and I'm talking bad about them but yeah, I don't know it's this is like a difficult realization for me that all this time and money so much money spent on these fountain pens it doesn't matter <laughs> you can be happy with a cheap fountain pen uh who cares it's they write fantastically you know if you get a good one there's lemons out there but I feel like I could be happy with a Lamy Safari or Twisby Eco I I feel like that that could work for me I would miss some of my more expensive fountain pens but I, I guess I'm realizing that the collection doesn't have to just be of expensive pens and I feel like a lot of people <laughs> I don't know, lose sight of that, but it's, it's, the price isn't the main thing, I guess. I don't know. A lot of people will try to be, build, um, big expensive collections. And I guess I was trying to do that too. Not big, but expensive because I thought that that meant, like I said earlier, I would appreciate them more. Not that I'm trying to like flex or anything. Uh, but I, I did feel that I would appreciate my pens more if they were more expensive. I felt that I would take better care of them because I'm very, very anal about my pens getting scratched and stuff. I take very good care of them. And I felt like if they were more expensive, I would be more conscious of that. So, and I, I still don't want to mess up the Twispies because I really like them. Uh, and they're limited edition. So I, it would be quite difficult to get a hold of them after after the fact but so yeah I don't I don't even know if this I made a point in this video this is just like mindless rambling but I just wanted to talk about that what do you guys think uh about adding or not adding but like I guess if you have more expensive fountain pens in your collection how does that make you feel about your cheaper fountain pens um you know, does it make you second guess yourself or question yourself? Because I'm really questioning my fountain pen collection right now. I'm having like a fountain pen crisis because these Twisby Ecos are just such fantastic writers. I love them so much. And I've only had, I mean, I've had the lilac for a couple weeks and I've only had the cement gray for like a day. Uh, cause it just came in like a day or two ago. And cause I ordered it like a week ago, but I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's the theme of this video is I don't know. So yeah, I don't even know the point I'm trying to make. If you guys have any input or opinions on this, please let me know because I am, I'm in crisis mode right now. I'm questioning everything I ever knew. <laughs> I used to have a lot of cheap fountain pens up and then I was like, I'm going to sell them. I'm just going to keep my expensive fountain pens and buy expensive fountain pens because that's what you do when you're not a noob anymore. And I mean, in some ways, I'm still a fountain pen noob. I've been in the hobby for like eight years now, approximately. And I, I feel like I'm, I know some stuff about fountain pens. I'm pretty good at tuning my own nibs, uh, altering things. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like I'm starting all over again, actually, because of, of this. So, okay. Yeah, we're already at almost 20 minutes. So I'll end it now. I don't even know what I don't know, this was really all over the place and I apologize. I like rambly videos like this. I'm sure somebody out there will appreciate the talking points. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, here are, the, here are my, my little Twisbees. I, I'm gonna take these, I'm going to Chicago this weekend and I actually plan on making a video about stationery and stuff or things I'm taking. And I'm taking these two pens and I will, try to make a video if I can, at least in the hotel room. I hope it has a desk so I can set all my stuff out. But yeah, if you guys have any opinions or anything like that, I would love to hear them. Um, so yeah, if, if you made it to the end, thank you. I appreciate you watching. This was, this is really all over the place and I apologize. I just, I feel like I have to talk to somebody or ask other people who kind of know fountain pens or are in the hobby 
if they've experienced something like this or if they've had like second thoughts about their collection, if they went back to basics, I guess. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, so thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.